You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to another interesting and eyebrow raising podcast of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. Thank you very much for joining us. This is episode number 616. We're very, very grateful that you're spending a few minutes of your day with us. And it is an interesting question that frankly is begging for a good answer from the FAA, I think. But we're going to give it a stab, right? You know what is also begging for an answer? Is lamb jerky better than beef? Find out yourself on Amazon. Go to Amazon.com and search for Charky. C-H-A-R-K-I and try the popular flavor sweet and spicy and find out if lamb is truly better than beef. Go. All right, Rob, play that funky question. Hey guys, this is Josh from Bartlett, Illinois. Appreciate everything you guys do for the community. It's great stuff. Quick question for you. Uh, I bought a drone, a Phantom 3 4K off of a friend of mine and he had already registered it with the FAA. Now, I'm wondering, what do I need to do? What is the process for something, a situation like this, where a person buys an FAA-registered drone? Do we need to update the name that's registered with that particular drone? Anything that needs to be done? I'm assuming this probably happens quite a bit. People that buy these drones on eBay or uh, Craigslist, things like that. Um, So it might be helpful for the rest of the community to, to know the answer to this as well. Anyways, thank you very much for taking my question. I appreciate it. You guys take care. Thank you, Josh, for the question. Um, It is a good one. I don't think the FAA has really given us any clear guidance on what to do in this situation. Well, you looked this morning, right? I did look this morning, and I don't see anything in FAQs. I don't don't see anything in their side. It's possible that I missed it. Well, like you said, let's give the FAA the benefit of the doubt, because they are watching. We know. Um, and that being said, you know, like you said, it's a fluid situation. Yep. And we've emailed them and we've asked them to give us a very specific as much as possible information on what people should do about this. Um, and I think the answer is we haven't gotten an answer back. Uh, but I th- believe the answer is, uh, if you are registering it for commercial reasons, cause that's the only reason you would have to register it. I would just start a new registration I'm not even sure that there is a system where they can check to see if the same serial number is registered twice. Um, and right. I've talked to a couple different inspectors, and they've said it takes them a week or more to even access information from that database. Um, so honestly, I think that as much as it is a concern, I don't think that there is a real solution. And because there's not a solution, it may not be a real concern for the FAA. Um, That's a good point. Very good point. Um, that being said, if it were me and it's commercial, I would just re-register it under yeah, just, a, a new number. So. Just re-register it. That way you're covered. You're not going to get in trouble for that. There's really not any so. downside to doing that. No. And then if push comes to shove, they would be able to see most likely, I would think, chronologically, that you were the most recent to register it and therefore... At any given time past that, it was your registration, et cetera. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I guess we could potentially overcomplicate this, but there given... are many ways to overcomplicate it. But uh, I, the system, I believe the system is just simply not set up for it yet. Right. And we've looked and we can't find anything. Now, if it's a hobby drone, guess what? You don't have to register it. Just go fly. Question answered. Have a good day. <laughs> Goodbye. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Pretty simple in that case. Definitely simple. Um, Guys, I hope this quick, short, informative podcast was helpful for you. No, we didn't record 10 episodes, and then that's why this one is short. Um, It's just a (laughs) short answer. So uh, if you have a question, though, go to askdroneu.com, upload that question, give us a like, give us a share, give us a review. It helps other people find this information, which could help us maintain the freedoms to fly. So are you interested in flight? Do you love it? Do you want to keep it? then maybe you should share it. Anyway, that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Drone You. (laughs) 